Hey guys, it is Space Midget here, also known as the Hamster of Muppets as I am on YouTube. But today, I have something that I want to show you guys. Dank Souls, the Dank Game. So. Dark Souls is obviously one of my favorite games of all time. Well, maybe not obviously. I mean, obviously people people don't know. <clears throat> but I know that. I have played countless hours on this game. Thousands. Like, oh my god. I was... I mean, for like a year and a half, this was the only game that I played. Almost. I mean, I played a little bit of other stuff, but this was like it. And so when I heard about this, I was just like, oh my god, I have to have this. And I'll be honest, it costs a pretty penny. Like, it definitely isn't free. I was like, holy shit. So, like, I just, like, got online, and I looked it up, and... Well, this cost me $140. Now, you can get it for cheaper than that. Um, I saw, like, some for, like, 125 130 uh, after I bought this. When I bought this, it was, like, the last one in stock, and I was like, oh, God. I figured they'd get more, but I just wanted to make sure that I got it, so I just bought it right then. I got it from Amazon, and, uh, there were some, the cheapest I think I saw it for was, like, 105 but it was, like, on this, like, sketchy website, and, like, the website had, like, just an absolute shit ton of bad reviews. So I was like, well, I want to make sure I get it. So, yeah, I mean, it definitely wasn't free. I first heard about this thing from Lobos. Uh, you guys pr probably have heard of Lobos. He's, like, one of the most popular Dark Souls streamers. Uh, yeah, he was, like, playing this game on stream, and I was just like, oh my god. The the game is just, like, absolutely beautiful. Like, there is just so much stuff to it, and, like... Well, let's just, let's just, let's just look at it. I haven't even looked at it yet. I, I want to look at it. They fucking bent my box a little bit. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. This isn't a very good camera. Uh, but, yeah. Eh, well, whatever. It's not a big deal. So, I, I... <laughs> I'm I'm holding the camera with my hand, so I kind of just got to set it down real fast to open this. And this is the first thing you see when you open it. <laughs> just like, you died. And that's all it is. It's just like, it's just this thing. It's just laying on top of it. It serves no other purpose. So we'll just set that off to the side. And now you can see Dark Souls the board game. I don't know how this fucking game is going to work, but apparently you die a lot, just like the regular game. So we got some cards here. Let's go ahead, take these out, set that there. Oh, man. Let's see, what is this? I want to I be kind of careful with this. I wish I had some place to set it. I'm, I'm going to set it over here for a second. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see anything, but... I'm just going to take all this stuff out so that we can just kind of examine it. Alright. Alright, so I took those two boxes out. Now we got here, Dark Souls the board game. I think this is the instruction manual, probably. Yep. It looks like it. It is a fucking detailed instruction manual. This is like a really complicated game. Oh my god. Here we got a board. Double-sided board, too. Got some more boards. Got another board. Oh, my God. Show me the boards. Ugh. And this is one of the player cards. The knight. 
Did I miss some of them? Oh, I did. Okay, I was gonna say, I think there's more than just one. <laughs> Let's move some of these out of the way. Err. Oh no, I'll have to look some of this stuff up. Anyway, uh, let's take a look in here. Uh, open that. Ah, uh, here we go. Let me set this down for a second. God damn it. Comes out just like this. But look at these character models. Beautiful. Really nice. Oh. Want to be a little careful with them. So we got the Titanite Demon, the Gargoyles, we got Smo. Uh, I'll be honest, um, I didn't play Dark Souls 3 as much, so I don't know all the names. Um, I, th I think th well, this one is the, the Dancer thing, and then that one is that Ice Guy, and then I think this is the, the Wing Knight that you fight. I think these are more of the characters that you get. Yep. Hornstein. Some dice. And these are a bunch of like the grunts and stuff. More dice. One of them fell out. So yeah. Silver Knights. Undeads. That looks like just like a regular knight. And then there's the sentinels, the archers, undead with a battle axe. Ha. Ah. This is going to take a long time. Apparently like the I think according to the thing it takes like 2 hours, but I'm pretty sure this game can easily last a lot more time than that. The only thing I'm kind of confused on is This is like the player, this is like your character thing. So this is the knight. That's the knight. But I thought there was supposed to be like four characters. Does it only include one? Oh, I hope I don't have to go away on Amazon and complain. Did I miss something? Okay, here we go. I found them. There we go. Here is the Herald. The Warrior. Man, I bet this looks like shit. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have a good, I don't have a good camera or anything, and the assassin. So let's take a look at this, this stuff real fast. You're probably not going to be able to read it, but I mean, here we can see you got your right hand weapon, your left hand weapon. Uh, I think that's your armor. It looks like. Then I'm not sure what that is. That might be magic at the top. I'm not exactly sure. I'll find out eventually. Then it looks like you got Estus, and that look, kind of looks like humanity. And then over here, we got all of your stats. So obviously, 
it'd be pretty tough to be able to just let you level up constantly. So we got strength, dexterity, intelligence, and faith. And based on your character, so obviously this is an assassin, so he starts with high dexterity. And then it looks like you can level it up all the way up to a tier 3, which would give you 40 dexterity. And you can do that for your four different stats. And then I'm guessing other stuff, vitality, endurance, etc. I think this is like your life bar. So I think everyone like has like the same amount of HP. And then, yeah, I, I, I don't even know what all this shit is. But yeah. I was getting really worried for a second. I was like, uh, why, why aren't there my other characters? Okay, so it looks like everything is here. But yeah, I really like these character models. They look so cool. Oreo and S'mores. For, for me, at least, the most memorable boss that I've ever fought. Just because, like, not only was it, like, the hardest boss in the first Dark Souls, but the Dark Souls... The first Dark Souls was the first one that I played. I know it's not the same for everyone else. Uh, then I think this is the Dancer of Boreal Valley. As far as I know, everything in this... It's obviously like a lot of these are from Dark Souls 1, but there's also some from Dark Souls 3. I don't think there's any from Dark Souls 2. I don't really know why, but for some reason, like... Yeah, there's like... Nothing from Dark Souls 2, at least not yet. They plan on, from what I was reading, they plan on, like, having expansions. And so they're going to be releasing, like, more character models and everything. And which one is you? Because I'm pretty sure your own character, like, as you, like, walk around the field... Oh, maybe this is... Oh, I think... Oh, it's the brown ones. Okay. Okay. This... So here's the Herald. Yeah. I'm not going to take them out right now. But there's the Warrior, the Assassin, and the Knight. So yeah. So they're the brown ones. Okay. So yeah. You obviously kind of pale in comparison to the bosses. <laughs> but yeah... This game, like, oh, God, I love Dark Souls. When I saw this, I was just like, oh, I don't care if it's fucking expensive. I like, I just want to have it. But yeah, um, they said they were planning on having expansions. And so as far as I know, they had like a huge list. And there was stuff from Dark Souls 2. So there will be eventually stuff from Dark Souls 2. But I mean, I probably, I'll, depending on like how far apart every expansion is, if, because... If they're really close, like, if they're releasing these things, like, once a week, you know, or something, I probably won't be able to get all of them. But if they're fairly far far, like, if it's only, like, every couple months, I'll probably get, like, every fucking expansion. Because the expansions are, like, only, like, $30, which obviously isn't too much, but obviously that starts to add up the more frequently they are, but if they're farther apart, yeah... But yeah, so you have... I, I mean, I don't know a whole lot about the game yet. Other than I think you're supposed to like just kind of go around like you're in a dungeon, kill all the bosses, and then you win. You can play with up to four people. If you're playing alone, you can play as any of the characters you want. Whatever. One to four players. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to have to... I, I, I think I can convince my friend Buck Let's Play... Or Buck2013, whatever his YouTube name is, I don't know. Buck something, Buck this, Buck that. Uh, to play this game with me. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this unboxing thing. Now we'll see you guys later.